G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, document set shared columns are what we're gonna take a look at in this video. Now, document sets or folders on steroids, as I like to call them, allow us to um, apply metadata at that parent level. Now, one of the benefits of shared columns is that we can pick and choose the columns or metadata at, from that parent to then share and apply to the documents inside of that document set. Now, the use case we're gonna tackle here is around projects. So we'll create a project document set and add some metadata, so project status, project manager, for example, and we'll share those columns with the documents inside so that it provides consistency and also removes the need for end users to have to set that metadata at the document level. So let's dive in and have a look. All right, so here we are in our project operations site. We've got a document library for projects. This is where we're going to store all of our projects. Now, because we're using document sets, we need to make sure first that the document set site collection feature is enabled. So inside of site settings under site collection administration, we've got our site collection features. Now by default, document sets are not active. So we need to make sure that we do activate this site collection feature. Once this is activated, that will then allow us to, to utilize document sets and create our own custom uh, document set content types. So under Web Designer Galleries, we click inside site content types, and then we're going to create a content type called project. That's the name, we'll come down to our parent category and we'll choose document set content types and we'll choose document set as the parent content type. We'll then hit create. That's now created and now we've got title, name and description as our site columns by default. But we want to add our own custom columns here. So I'm gonna click create new site column and I'm gonna say PRJ manager as the column name I'm going to choose the column type as person or group and we'll hit save. We might also then have a project status. So I'll go PRJ status and this time though, we're going to choose a choice column. So we'll choose choice and we'll go new, um, we'll go started and we'll go complete. All right, so there's our statuses and we'll hit save. Now the last thing we might wanna do is have a project ID as well. So we'll go PRJ ID, we'll just use a single line of text and we'll hit save. So now that we've got these set, when we create a new document, a new project, we'll be able to fill these out. But we wanna also share these columns with the documents that are inside of our document set. So under document set settings, we can under, if we scroll down, we can see that we've got this option here for shared columns and we can select which columns that we want to share inside. So I'm going to go manager, status and ID and I'll hit save. So now we're sharing our three custom columns with the content that lives inside that document set. So let's have a look at that in action. So I'm going to jump back into project operations. Now I'll go into our projects library here. Now the first thing obviously that we need to do is we need to make sure that our, doc our document set, our content type is available uh, at this library. So we'll go into and we'll choose our project as our uh, content type and we'll hit apply. So now inside of our library, when we hit the new button, you can see that we've got new project. And when I click new project, we're presented with a form where I can now uh, select and fill out my project. So let me just fill that out right now. We'll just call it project uh, 101. We'll go project manager. We'll go our project status of started and we'll go project ID of one, two, three. Now we'll hit save. Now, once we create that document set, we're taken directly inside of that set itself. So here, we're inside of the, uh, the project. Uh, now, if I go up one level, you can see that we've got our document set. Now, I'm gonna just show or hide our, uh, sorry, show our custom columns. So I'm gonna choose our three columns and I'll hit apply. 
So we can see that we've got our project manager, we've got our project status, and we've also got our project ID here shown at this level. So now that we chose to actually share these columns, every time that we add a document to this document set, it's going to inherit those values. So let's now go ahead and drag a few documents in our inside of our project. So we'll move this across and we'll just go through and I'll add a few documents. So we'll drag these documents inside of this project. Uh, you can see that they're uploading there. Now, what you'll notice is that we've got the project manager, the project status, and the project ID automatically being set on our documents, all right? So that's the value of having our shared columns. It means that we don't have to uh, individually set the metadata per document on these. It just inherits from the top level. Now, what happens when we change the value at this project level? So let's select our document set. We'll go the information and maybe let's change the status of this project to be complete. So we'll now change that at the document set level. We'll close this off. We can see that that's been changed. Let's pop in inside of our project here. Um, and we'll have a look at the value now of the status of these documents. And you can see that these also now have the status of complete. So whenever we change a value at this top level, and let's do that again, but this time we might change the project manager. So we'll hit the information icon, we'll go to project manager, let's change the project manager to Adele and then we'll set that at the document set level or the project level in our case, in this use case. So you can see that's now been changed to Adele. And then I'm just gonna quickly give this a bit of a refresh. Now, when we go inside of our project, what we'll notice is that the value here for project manager has also been changed. So there we go, shared columns in document sets, a really powerful feature, again, of document sets, giving us the ability to standardize the metadata and pass that through down to the documents inside of the set itself. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.